What's up guys? So our good old uh, orange Subaru is back. So the guy got the uh, brush guard for it. I don't know, I haven't really seen too much information on these things here, but he dropped off the huge front bumper guard the other day, brought the car here today, dropped it off. We're gonna get this thing installed on there, maybe take you guys through it, show you guys how, uh, how I would do it at least. I don't really know, like I said, there's not a whole lot of information. I believe we'll have to cut a section of the bumper so we'll have to see how it turns out. But let me get ready to pull this thing in now, guys. We'll get you on the shop. All right, got this bad boy pulled in. Got the old, uh, still looking good as the day I last saw it. Really like this car, guys. Subarus, man. You never know. You never know what kind of car you'd like, but man, these things are great cars. That color too, really dig that color. But here's the bumper guard. Set this thing over here. Get ready to unbox this thing real quick. Cut this thing open. I got my uh, snap-on box opener, switchblade style, pretty nice. It's like a licensed thing. I think I got it from Home Depot. Put the extra ones in here and then just switch it in and out. Pretty cool. But let me get you guys set up. We'll get this thing cut open. See what we got here. thing all unpacked that was an adventure in itself but here's the company it's called LP adventure that he got it from this thing pretty pricey too probably about 750 bucks he paid for this thing but it looks like it's gonna go underneath protects the bottom kind of ties into the frame that's what bolts it to it I got the uh, hardware here it comes with uh, all the little plastic protective inserts in the box they did a heck of a packing job though Man, probably, probably out of that $750, probably $100 worth of pool noodles to pack this thing. Got the instructions, comes with two uh, badges. These things aren't just sticker either. They're like the coated uh, plastic, so it's like a thicker sticker. And then here's some of the hardware that comes with it. Probably some of the bars here. Looks like mounting bars. We'll have to figure this out. But pretty nice. Looks stainless. Real, definitely, definitely well made. And then the coating, the painting on it is real nice. It's got a nice powder coating, like a hammered powder coating look. So let's get this thing installed, guys. All right, so first step is to pull the uh, plastic skid plate out under there. Got Lauren working on that real quick, knocking that out for us. And then we got to cut out a few sections on there, a couple sections on the side. 
to make way for these, either the, the side supports, and then they give you the hardware for the back support of it, to support the back two right there. There's some longer bolts. So getting that knocked out, we'll get, the, we'll get the skid plate out of it real quick. We'll show you where to cut out these holes. We'll get right back with you. All right, guys, so we got the skid plate off. I got it right here. I got it kind of marked out, lined out to, uh, for the cutout to receive the longer 14 millimeter bolts for the back portion of it. But here's the skid plate here. You can see I just marked it out roughly right there. That's kind of the area for the front part of it on both sides. You know, maybe about three inches in or from the hole. Maybe make it a little bit wider so you can know you got enough room, there's no rubbing. And then here's for the back cutout. I went, you'll want to keep the tabs, the mounting tabs for this. So I just kind of went around and back through, through this little hole here, and then cut this out here. So this, this whole section right here will be cut out for the back part of it. To receive those, they give you longer bolts. There's two 14 millimeter short bolts underneath it, bolted to the frame. You'll remove those and replace them with the longer ones in the kit here. And then I want to show you guys where these would go underneath there. Um, and they got all the hardware included for that too. I'll show you guys here. So you'll want to remove, you want to remove that bolt right there and hook the mounting hardware to it. You guys can see that bolt right there. Let's see if I get the light on it better. You guys can see the bolt. That one right there. Get that one removed and then you'll hook up the little bar, drop it down, and that's where that one's gonna go. And then here's where the, the back one goes. You remove the, that 14 millimeter bolt and that 14 millimeter bolt and put the longer ones in there. That'll receive the back portion of it. That supports the back part. All right, guys, so I got all my hardware spread out. This is the bolt I removed on the front, uh, front of the body behind the core support. So we'll, won't be needing that. We'll use these longer ones here. They give you some washers. So I'm getting ready to uh, getting ready to get this up in there now, and you'll have it facing towards the front. So when you mount it, this you know it's going to angle towards the front of the car. All right. So I made my cuts. Sorry, I'm doing this in a bunch of clips, guys. I'm trying to get like the detailed, be as detailed as possible with this. And you know, setting up the camera on a tripod, you don't really see much if it's set up far away. Plus, I don't feel like wearing a mic right now. But cut these out. I just used a body saw. Got the back one cut out. That should be enough. I'm going to line that up, make sure it's enough to fit with maybe a little bit of adjusting. And then the fronts here for the sides, I'm going to show you guys those little bars that come down. I didn't want to cut up super high, so I kind of just took it from there. And if I need any extra room, I'll just maybe notch you know, a little portion where the bar comes down. This is kind of just to get it on there. And then I can maybe notch it for the rest of the way so it doesn't rub. Got that on both sides. You can see. And then if we jump, if we jump up under here, you can see I got the, the brace coming down right there on this side. Put the uh, inner fender liner back up. Got it buttoned back up, and then I got this one on this side with the inner fender liner back up, and then I removed those two 14 millimeter bolts back there. You can see there and right there. So getting ready to stess this thing under there. Um, I got to put this skid plate back up, make sure all the bolt holes show through, and uh, get this thing mounted up. So I got the skid plate back up, got the little brace dropped down, you can see, let's see, here's that side, and then I got this side, and then I got the back opened up, we're getting ready to drop this thing under here.
There it is. All lined up, installed. It took a little bit of tweaking to get kind of perfect. Um, probably a little bit of more adjusting, but man, it really hugs the curvatures of the uh, front bumper. Pretty nice product. I dig it, it's nice. Looks good. They also make a, uh, LP Adventures also makes just a lower portion of it without these uh, fog light parts, bars on there. So it just comes along down here and then up, but turned out nice. Definitely pretty decent. And you can see what underneath looks like. You got the little stainless steel. That's definitely not rusting. Bar coming down, bolt to the two bolts in the back. And then the one over on this side. Shut up and sit down. So there it is guys, I'll leave a link to these guys where to find these uh, bumper guards down in the description below. Uh, you guys can see what they run and all that stuff. Um, pretty nice mod. You could also, the front of it, you could, it's also got mounting holes for lights if you want to put an LED bar in the front of it or what have you. Or maybe mount a license plate up front. I know, I know in some states you don't need to put a front plate on it, but here in Illinois you do. But yeah, it turned out nice. Pretty decent, I know the customer's gonna be happy. Sorry about all the little cuts, but just kinda wanted to get to the important part of it. You know, uh, I noticed the skid plate probably didn't need to be cut back that much. I probably could've saved some space and just made a little notch, but you know, things twist and things like that. If you ever have to service it, get it down, you don't want that in your way, so make it a little bigger never hurts. No one's gonna see it down there, so. But I think it looks pretty good. Guy's gonna be happy. Quick one for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Signing out.